Hey, what's happening everyone, it's Adam. And in today's video, we're gonna discuss how to make a custom sound for your alarm clock to whatever it is you want. Because I usually do this with songs from Apple Music, but I found a way to do this for pretty much any audio you can think of. And most importantly, before I forget, I do wanna mention you do not need a computer to do this. This is specifically for iPhones and you can do everything with just your iPhone for this. So let's get into it. Now you can use TikTok videos or even YouTube videos. Let's say there's a certain song that you really like, like Drive Forever, the Russian remix. And if you haven't heard this, this is what it sounds like. All right, I think this is a really cool song, so let's use it. First, we're going to hit the share button and we're gonna copy the link. Now with this next step, the only place I've been able to do this this seamless is Kapuim. Now, I wish they were sponsoring this video or something, but basically all you gotta do is sign up for a free account and you can use Google to log in or even Facebook, but whatever you use, make sure you create a free account and then we'll go to the next step. All right, now remember this is a free and brand new account I just made and this is on Safari. So again, you only need your iPhone when doing this. Now we're gonna tap new content. And you remember that link that we copied for that song? We're gonna tap menu, we're gonna go down to audio, and we're gonna paste the share link right here. And it's going to do its magic, and it usually works pretty quick to turn this video into strictly an audio file. Now we're gonna go, all the, once it's done uploading anyway, and sometimes it takes a few minutes, it just depends on what you're uploading. We're going to tap this menu button right here, that arrow, and we're going to hit export as an MP3. Export audio. All right, now that it finished downloading, we can play the audio just to make sure everything's working fine. And of course it downloaded the whole audio from that video. Now what we're gonna do is hit download. We have to finish this process still. Hit download again. Go to the menu bar. Go to tap downloads. You could rename this whatever you want. And you can do other things like send it via email or whatnot, but what we're going to do is just save it to our files. Now here I'm going to actually rename it to the Drive Forever Remix. That way I just know. I'm gonna hit done. And I'm going to save it to my iPhone actually. And I'll just save it under downloads. Now here's the beauty in having an iPhone. So how we're going to convert this for a song for a custom ringtone is thanks to GarageBand and all iPhones have GarageBand. And this is a little bit tricky. So make sure you follow these steps exactly. Otherwise you will feel a little bit lost. So on the top right corner, we're going to hit the plus icon and make sure it's not on live loops. Make sure it's on tracks and make sure when you're scrolling through here, you go to audio recorder and then we're going to select that. Now, once we have this selected to get out of this on the top left, we're going to hit that icon with the bars. That way it switches to a more appropriate or just a cleaner way of looking. I'm not a professional musician. I don't know what this frame is called, but we're going to on the top right, hit that little loop up there. We're gonna to go to files and then I have this already here because of searching for it. But when you go to your files, you can just tap in drive and look for it if it's already uploaded or better yet, when you get out of this, go to browse items from the file app, going to browse on the right, gonna go browse on the top left and this is how you access all your files from anywhere in your phone. So if we go back to on my iPhone, we go to downloads and I type in drive search. That's where I'm going to find it. And then this is a little tricky too, but you don't want to just tap this. You want to tap and hold and then drag it over here to the first bar, I guess you will. Now here's something really cool to think about. So when it comes to this song, you can tap and drag to edit it and even, you know, pull it along and extend it outwards, etc. But one really important thing to do here, if you're wondering why I didn't the full song upload, is because it naturally starts with only eight bars when going on GarageBand. So we wanna tap this plus icon on the very right over here, and we're gonna tap the section right here to manual, and we're gonna go just really extend it. 
we're gonna tap it as long as we can. So let's go to at least 40. So now you can see we can tap the song again and extend it all the way out just so we can really select that part of the song that we want most. Maybe you really wanna wake up to that cool beginning. Now remember, don't really worry too much about if it's longer than 30 seconds because that's the max you can have a ringtone. It will automatically adjust to it. All we really care about is if the part that you wanna wake up to or set your alarm to is actually the part you want. So next what we're going to do is we're gonna go back to my songs and we'll just leave it at my song five. We're going to tap and hold this and we are going to export this. So we're gonna to go to share and we're gonna do ringtone in the middle. And again, it's gonna say your ringtone needs to be 30 seconds or less, but it's going to automatically be adjusted to the appropriate time. So we hit continue and then we'll just leave it at my song. So I just remember it as that, or actually while I'm just at it to show you, <laughs> why not do this? And then boom, we're gonna hit export. So it's exporting as a ringtone now. That only took a few seconds. So we're gonna hit okay or we can go to use sound as, and you can do standard ringtone, standard text tone, or assign the contact. So if we hit standard ringtone, so if we hit standard ringtone, it's gonna go to standard ringtone, or we can go back to our alarms and find it in there. All right, so now that we did all that, we're gonna tap our clock app here. We're gonna go to one of our alarms, and we're gonna go to sound, and you're gonna see it right there. So now you have that song from a ringtone, from any YouTube video. It could be anything, anything that has audio in a YouTube video. So I'll even prove it right here. <laughs> Dope how I can wake up to that if I want. So if you need some motivation, maybe you wanna wake up with a motivational speech or something. That's how you would do it. So hopefully this helped. If y'all wanna see more tutorials like this, just let me know and I'll see y'all on the next one.